a orange one here so i did a little bit of crafting to and like looting to just give ourselves a little bit less um gross infected gear and a little bit more carrying capacity as well as a little cra uh crafting like i um i think i found like uh, where was it oh yeah i also found this exit there's an exit this way and um yeah just we were right here. This is where we've been for a while. That's like where all those bodies were. And like down there, we've got like a little workstation. I also have some water here. Uh, then, yes, we have, we have those there, which we can use to store water, which I'm totally gonna do. <laughs> Cause you know, you gotta use this, the storage that you got, right? And honestly, we wanna be able to have some water pretty essential in this game. So I've been kind of using the area down here as like a little crafting area, little base area, I don't know. You can think of it like, um, yeah, I've got a little gallon jug here, a bunch of junk there, like a disassembled computer. So we've got like all these like crafting things that we can make as well as nail boards. So I think I have a nail board trap here, which we can use to kill zombies. I'll, I'll try and show that off. Oh, I also... There's some rags that I found. I disassembled uh, some of them for some thread. And used that to make this makeshift hammer, which was what I used to then disassemble that computer. So yeah, we've got some capability crafting-wise right now. Um, we don't have that many great weapons, to be honest, but that's fine. I, <laughs> we can't do anything, unfortunately, because we don't have duct tape. <laughs> it's driving me crazy, it really is. Um, but what we can do is kind of look at all kinds of tools. Um, I could actually even make some makeshift bandages. Maybe I should do that. Why don't we make, yeah, let's make five of those, and I'm actually going to apply um, those, especially to these limbs. Yeah, these limbs need a little bit of bandaging, I think, for our advantages. Here we go. Yeah, so, I mean, the thing is, is that these bandages will heal my limbs a little bit. They're not going to do an awful lot because they're very poor. Like, they're pretty, pretty terrible. We could make some other um, bandages, I think, pretty soon. No. Oh, actually, we can't even make, like, the real ones where you use water. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, where is it? What was I doing? Bandages, yeah. That will improve that, but it's already actually a very poor. So I'm gonna actually just not do anything there. So we've got some bandages on our wounds. Yay. Uh, why are we unhealth unhappy? Our filthy gear, our motorcycle helmet. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. Uh, definitely an understandable reason to be upset if you're wearing a gross helmet. Uh, can we make a washboard maybe? Because I think I found, ah uh, yeah, I could maybe if I, oh no, I need a washboard. And that was crafting with said washboard. Because I have detergent. The thing is, is that I actually found some detergent. But you can't do anything without a washboard. <laughs> I'm not sure why we can't do that. Um, maybe we should make another nail board trap. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. And actually, yeah, we've got a crowbar equipped. Let's smash that. Let's make more of those. And then, um, smash that and do that one more time. There we go. Now that we've got all of those, we can make another nail board trap. I'll use the lens we got in person. Cool. Okay, so now we've got a couple nail board traps. That's great. So we can use those to like have runnies, 
run the zombies onto those and it will uh, it'll be really good for us. There's some water there. Actually, those are... We've got a ton of stuff, honestly. <laughs> a little bit too much stuff. I could probably leave that here and take... No. we got a lot of junk here. Though I do think we're going to want to take a lot of it. I don't think we really want these. I had grabbed those thinking that we could eat them in a pinch. We are going to be hungry. I had just drank some water um, that was purified. Because what we have here is our purification tablets, which you can then use to activate on these things, right? So now I've used uh, two of those doses of those tablets to get two doses of clean water. So, yay for me, I got clean water. <laughs> and some traps, you know, and like other various little good things. I do think we want copper wire. I'm not sure why. I feel like that's a good thing for us to be able to do some crafting with. I was also thinking of doing this, but to see, to make this, we need heat elements, which... Uh, to make those, you need those things, right? But if I can get heat elements from, like, I don't know. What would give me a heat element? Right? I don't really know what would give me a heat element. I don't think there is really much of anything that would give me a heat element. Um, so, what we can try and do, kind of like, wait out our pain for a little bit. Maybe try and read a little bit, and then... And the problem is, is that we're gonna get really hungry. But I think that we gotta just get that pain down. I'm just gonna wait for our pain to go down to a, a much more manageable level. And then maybe give another go at going up and using these nail traps. If we can get some pebbles or something, that'd be great. I think that we'd be doing really, really good. We could do something like that. Man, it takes us a long time to learn electronics, huh? Um, nor I really just want that. Um, hold on. Yeah, I do. I am worried about the fact that we don't have like any food. If only we had duct tape, you know. We could um see what else is around. I don't think that I fully explored everything out up here. I kind of did, but not really. Yeah, there was like some stuff here, but I thought there might be rooms that have, ooh, what do we have here? Oh, I don't have my crowbar. Whoops. If we get my crowbar, it'll be much easier than smashing them with my hands. Flash, also my crowbar is a pretty decent melee weapon. Probably not a half bad to be carrying around. There you go. Wield it. Yep. Also, I could probably dump my backpack if I actually get into a melee fight. That would probably make me a lot more effective. I didn't really do that last time, and I kind of regret it. No, I, I don't kind of regret it. I very much do. Ooh, bionics. I mean, we're not going to be able to install them, is the thing. Because, I mean, I do have, like, some electronics, so I have a better chance than if I didn't have that, but I don't have like any of the other stuff. Ooh, another fire extinguisher. Got a couple of those. Okay. And a spring. I don't think I have a use for any of that stuff because my fabrication is just a little too low. Um, what is this? Wood ash? Can't use that for anything, can I? Uh, what is that? Ooh. It's a, it's a really good item, but it's like a real, it's like kind of like a potion almost kind of item. Magical item, you know. You know. You know how these sci-fi people get. So, oh yeah, here's, here's the tunnel. Um, I hadn't really explored it. But if I wanted to, this I could get like a little fireplace out here and then use that to clean my water and maybe craft with. 
So I am just a little bit curious. But we're gonna turn back pretty soon. Yeah. Because I think this could go for forever and then I just don't think we have the food resources to go on a gamble like that. Ooh, does this fork down this way? Okay, there's like a downwards path as well. Interesting. I am intrigued, but also very hungry. And I think we just need to get out of here. You know? We need to like, because there's no food in this lab from what I've seen. Like, none. There's some water. There's like no food. Not easily accessible. Um, there's these things. Anything here? Oh, there's a security guard. Did I trap them there previously and then like forget that they were there? Oh, what's this? Prisoner containment. That could have food, but it's very unlikely that I would be able to handle myself there. Uh, what is this? Ooh. Some batter, uh, bandages, like proper bandages. I might see uh, if we can, if this area is safe. It looks like, it, no, it's not safe. There's that guy there. Um, well, this is where we activate that, eh? A stepped on the trap. Did not do very much damage. Um, and they are really slow is the thing. So I could probably get them to run and like follow me in there and then like trap them, you know? Yeah, see that? I feel like it's doing like no damage to them. You know? <laughs> they're, the good news is that they're really slow. Is there food here, maybe? The matchbook. Yeah, let's grab the matchbook. Sounds good to me. Very useful. We can also use the furniture to slow him down. Like, the thing is, is that the zombies in the game are actually pretty slow. Like, you know. Um, yeah, go ahead and hit that computer. Fine. I'm gonna see if I can maybe trap you in this hallway. Oh no, he's, he's grabbed me. Run! There we go. Come on. Okay, we got away. What's in here? Um, it, this'll, this'll do. Where are we? Pink drink. Um, I don't think that's calories. There can be any calories. If I look to drink it. Oh, it does. I think I'm going to try grabbing it. Yeah, let's just grab it and go. Uh, can I? Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of that grab, please. Close that. See, I think that we're okay now. Um, maybe get that makeshift bandage that we had. We had a couple of them, right? Yeah. See, this is this is why you you invest in that. Close that, and let's just run up here, and now we're safe. Yay! Well, the nail board trap proved to not be effective against the security guard ones. Given enough time, I think it would be. Um, this is anesthesia. The thing is, is that we need to unlock that, which I don't 
think we can do unless we do the emergency one and then we'd have to fight those dudes. There's a prototype that could be our, our friend if we had the right items, but we don't. So, yeah. I don't think that I'm strong enough to get through reinforced glass, so I don't think that we're going to get into there. Anyhow, I can't really unlock that. Um, yes, disarm that and we'll take it. Is it just a normal... Ooh, yeah. It, like, got healed by being used. <laughs> oh, look, there's some fish serum. <gasps> okay, um... We have robust genetics, right? Aw, oh, we need a syringe. I thought we had, there was a syringe upstairs, wasn't there? We'll bring it upstairs. Maybe I could uh, drink that bottle of clean water that's... Uh... I think that's there. Yeah, that's just a plastic bottle. What was that? Just a spirit? Okay. What is it that we have here? It's a centrifuge. I feel like it might be good for me to try and disassemble that overhead light. Can I do that? 20 minutes on the light. Is it the light or the table I'm doing? If it's the table, I'm not going to be happy. Aww. Eh. Okay, let's try that. Um, you can strike skill on the centrifuge. I just don't know what centrifuges give me. I feel like it could be useful. Uh, I mean, not that useful actually. The shame. That's got a light detector or something. Wait. Uh, solder. Yeah, a light detector. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like anything I can really use. Dang. That's a shame. We tried, and oh, we have our we have our drink. We have some calories. Your sugary drink. Ooh. Look at this. We got some uh, something else we could read. Computer world. Does that actually teach you anything about computers? It does. Oh, we should probably read that if we can. Oh man, I don't know. Grab that. Anything else that I missed, maybe? Counters wise, doesn't look like it. I think we were pretty thorough. Yeah. Okay, so that security guard is down there somewhere. Ooh, what do we have here? A Geiger ca Ooh, that's a good one. We didn't get the bandages because they're yeah they're locked up. Right. This looks like this is pretty safe up here. Ooh, Chimera, plant serum. <clears throat> Hello. I could get the one mutation that makes you get nutrients. That'd be nice. Oh, purifier, lupine, lizard. Ooh, we got lots of interesting things here. We could totally just see where RNG takes us. I need a syringe though. It would be really nice to be able to take that book. Yeah. Cool. So many good things. And there's a basic chemistry set even. We can cook with that, can't we? You'll need a source of heat with it. I think that that can get turned into like the nice one though. Uh, hold on. If I look... Oh. Uh, can I just look at this? A light bulb. This would give me a light bulb, and I could use that to make a flashlight. Take 30 minutes. Hmm. I'm gonna take it, because I think that's a good project for 
for our character. If not now, at some point, that's a good thing to have. Same with this. What could I get from that if I were to break it apart? Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to actually take it apart. Can I actually take the microscope apart? Hold on. Did I pick up something that I can't actually take apart yet? No, I, I can do it. Okay, cool. Take me 30 minutes. The thing is, is that I don't know I have food for that long, but this might actually... Ooh, look. This location might have... Ooh, it's got an onion. <clears throat> Gross. I don't think we can do anything like cooking with that onion. But it's better than nothing. A strange little room just there. Um, okay, we do have another base here. Yeah, I thought we were like basically out of the lab, but it looks like there's a little bit more of space where I would benefit from looting. I think the, is the microscope takes half an hour, we might be able to find like a flashlight. Ooh, that's a good item. We'll, uh, we'll put that on for sure. That's like a really good item. Oh, duct tape. We can solder iron. <sighs> oh my gosh, we should go back to our um our room. Get out of here. Giant spiders. I mean, at least they're just S's on, in the game, right? <laughs> I'm not like, what is it, the, the fear of spiders. I don't have that thing where it's like the, where you've got like a medical diagnostic or anything, but it's just like, oh man, giant spiders still creep me out. Like, I think as any sane person would be creeped out by giant insects, right? Okay, we're back in our little kind of base with our onion. We sh should we eat our onion? Let's eat our onion. Mmm. Yum. And our crispy. So good. <laughs> okay, um, what were we gonna do? Soldering iron? Yeah, let's do that. That's gonna be so good for us to have. Okay, we got a soldering iron and we put it on the counter. I want that though. Definitely keep that on us. Soldering iron, where are you? Can we reload that? How much charge do you have? Yeah, we got a good amount. Okay, cool. So what can I craft now that I have that? I could make a taser. <laughs> I feel like I kind of should do that. I mean, does shock work on zombies? I think it does, right? Um, the other thing that we could do is that we could make heating elements now. It wouldn't take too long, but we'd need a fair amount of copper wire to do so. So we could make our own way of heating things. Um, I say we take apart that microscope I know that we're going to get hungry here, and that we really should be getting out of here, but honestly, having a flashlight is going to increase our ability to survive so much, it's worth spending the time to make it. Um, we need some more copper wire. Um, if I look at this, this stuff has like copper wire components, doesn't it? Not really. What about some of these components? I mean, kind of, but not really. What would have copper wire in it? Oh man. Uh, da, da, da. And there is some, it's just like not enough. That's, that is something that I did not be being an issue. It's the copper wire. Hmm. There's gotta be something that's gonna have copper wire in it. 
feel like the generators or something would. Gosh, I'm not sure. So many options though, in terms of what we could do now, uh, crafting wise. I definitely want a taser. <laughs> so we're um, also look, I'm just curious about what else I could do. A reading light we could do if we had super glue. <laughs> Make a noise emitter. Yeah, I could distract some zombies. We could use that and throw that to distract them or something. Oh, we actually only need three more copper wire. So let's, let's just disassemble a few things. Um, what was the one thing that had copper wire in it? Yeah, there's you. And I think that's, that's it, isn't it? It's just the amplifier circuit, really. Okay. Guess that's what we're doing. Can I? It's just we're gonna we're gonna deconstruct this. I've got a feeling that the scrap will still be useful. And then anything else that's gonna give us copper if we disassemble. I feel like a lot of these things should, that they don't, like too small of amount. There is copper wire actually that we got from just straight up disassembling that computer. Oh, okay. Great. Okay, so we did get enough just from doing that. Okay. Flashlight then. Great. Yep. Um, do that because we can get scrap metal easier than cans right now. <laughs> no, we're definitely taking that. And I don't know if I have anything. Ah, uh, I see. We're going to have to use our different batteries interchangeably. But we have batteries, it's fine. Just keep them stored in devices so it takes up less volume in our pockets, right? Our lab coat is pretty much destroyed. That's not good. Yeah, that's going to be a problem when that gets broken. We're going to have to drop and rearrange. We have to think about doing some other storage. Um, so what else could we do? We could make the noise maker. We do have our two-way radio. I feel like that should be able to work. It's a distraction, right? Can I... I can't do anything interesting with the two-way radio. It's weird. All right, so that won't work as a distraction. So we could make a noisemaker or something and try that out. And that I think would be probably one of our better moves. Use a noisemaker and some nail tracks and just like, yeah, that could work really nicely. Or we get our, our radio that we had that we dropped up there and just use that in a similar fashion. I think that that's a pretty good idea. I'm liking it. <laughs> Definitely definitely starting to piece together something that's looking like a possible successful escape plan. There's a battery charger that we could make. That's probably not the worst idea at this point in the game. Let's go ahead and disassemble this other um, computer and it's, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll make a little battery charger because we're probably going to need that if we're going off into the woods to live. Right. And then amplifier circuit, yeah. We could need like a little bit more copper wire. I think that's enough, doesn't that? What was it that we were trying to make? It wasn't this. I can't remember what it was that I was just trying to make. There's something electronic. Copper wire battery charger. We need two more. Okay. We get two more, right? Somewhere. And then there's gotta be one more around here somewhere. 
Amplifier circuits, yeah, there's a couple in there. Hopefully we didn't need that all of those. I don't think we do though. Where's that battery charger? Here we go. Cool. And then yeah, plastic chunk if we can't don't have to use our other stuff. Sure, yeah. On the counter and there we go. We have a battery charger, we have like a soldering iron, we have a fire starter. <laughs> we got all this crafting stuff, like and we have even all the serum that we could inject, which I think might be the beginning of the next episode, if you know what I mean. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> um just mutated arms. I thought Okay, we're gonna have to go on a, a little mission. Maybe it's on the surface. I could have sworn there was like a syringe around here. Okay, well, in any case, it's been fun. I'll see you guys around. This has been Orange One.